Hey there. So uh, I'm fresh back from the East Coast European or <laughs> the East Coast Regional Burn, uh, Playa del Fuego, and I have some new tech for you guys. Um, first and foremost, this I worked out a couple weeks ago. Oops. It is still awkward and kind of ungainly and very old school, but it is a five beat behind the back waist strap. Uh, which is really, really ugly still. But I'm, uh, I'm starting to reach for it when, uh, when I'm going into my behind the back weaves now. Don't know why. figure it's a little bit more interesting than your garden variety behind the back leaf. Also, um, I've been playing around a lot with um, kind of these interior uh, linear isolations and stalling out of them. And until recently I've been very good at stalling with the right hand up top and the left hand doing the bottom stall but not so good with the left hand doing the top stall and the right hand doing the bottom stall. But, after a couple weeks of practice, it's finally started to come together on either side. Which leads into the next piece of tech, which is the idea of using that kind of motion to switch into a kind of quasi-Uta style. Plane shift, like that. It's interesting about this is that usually when you're doing those horizontal style Uta stalls, you're playing with the idea of the poi being in full extension through most of the circle, right? Whereas, in here, we're playing around with a horizontal concept that more resembles oops, a flower than an extension. Also been doing quarter time to really get the flower effect. Um, if you wanted to go for an anti-spin kind of flower, because this is more of a in-spin uh, kind of scenario. You'd switch it up to doing something more like a cap because for the anti spin, you have to stall out and then around and over. Which, this one I'm still not 100% on. I don't think I'm really even 50% on it. But give me some time with that one, and uh, I'm sure in no time we'll be switching around the normal stuff flowers with the anti spin ones. Anyway, um, spent, uh, been spending a lot of time lately playing around with these kind of stall switches between same direction and opposites, right? And I've been realizing they uh, open up the possibility of playing with um, more than just the standard cross or box kind of plane arrangement that I'm used to. What do, I mean? ah, what do I mean by that? Well, normally, when I play around with this kind of stall switching, I'm going between wheel plane and wall plane, or keeping it in 
small plane, right? And what I realized is that if I say start off with my plane oriented perpendicular to the audience, when I switch my orientation, I can do it in a 45 degree increment rather than a 90 degree increment. In which case, when I do the next stall switch, I can do another 45 degree increment. And it comes out as in full profile to the audience. And likewise, I can do the next plane bend at 45 degrees and get myself back to being perpendicular to the audience. In other words, plane here, plane here, plane here, plane here, plane here, all the way around. It adds up to an octagon. I haven't found anything really cool I can do with this just yet, but the idea is intriguing me, so I'm probably going to play around with it some more in the coming weeks. Finally, um, I spent a lot of time this weekend hanging out with Mike Icon, and uh, he presented me with a couple of very interesting challenges. The first one being, um, Normally when you're playing around with anti-spin flowers, you're doing so with beats that are multiples of two. It makes symmetry very, very easy to play with. When, however, you're playing around with triquetras, that nice symmetry tends to fall apart. So, um, in the same motion, you can be dealing with something that kind of looks like it's split time, and something that kind of looks like it's same time. For example, this pattern. In other words, triplicate time. So I experimented a lot with them this weekend of switching between different triplicate time arrangements. Like so. And finally, um, Mike had an idea about um, using a point isolation slash float to move the poi um, over your shoulder in such a way that it looks like it's going the same direction on the other side that it was when you started. Specifically, starting off with uh, opposite same time and using that point isolation to and float to send the arrangement over your shoulder and wind up with a butterfly that looks like it's going in the same direction to you but a different direction to your audience on the other side and I mean really you can 360 with that idea like so Um, a, almost a year ago uh, at a party, Mike uh, was commenting on my tech blogs and claiming that uh, he had been jerking off to them and asked that I send a shout out to him for having done so in the blogs. So, Mike, it's been a while, but there is your shout out. I really hope it was worth the wait. Thank you for watching, guys. I will be back with more tech for you next week. Peace out.